Welcome, KSL Gang. Welcome, KSL Gang. Today, we're going to be doing a collective haul. These are things I got in April. I just haven't had time to haul them. I got some Bodycology from Walmart, body lotions from Goose Creek, and Sol de Janeiro products from Sephora. The only thing recent is the Bath & Body Works, and we're going to start off with that. Okay, so let's jump in. From Bath & Body Works, we have the new lip glosses. We got Firecracker Pop and Bonfire S'mores. They both smell really nice. I'm glad these do not have the shimmer in it because sometimes they have the lip glosses with the little sparkles in it. Sometimes you just want a clear gloss. And the Firecracker Pop does not smell like the actual body care. It just has like a sweet smell to it. The some more one I'm getting like a vanilla marshmallow scent smells really nice. I absolutely love the packaging on both of them. With the some more one, it reminded me of the pocket bag. I think it came out last year during the fall time. I always regret not picking that one up. I'm a seeking I find like a Macari or Amazon or something because I really want that pocket back holder. But hopefully they come back out with it this year. Next up, we have the Goose Creek Body Lotions. In body care, I think they only have hand soaps, hand sanitizers, shower gel, and body lotions. I wish they did make body mist because their lotion smells so good. They have vitamin E, vitamin B5, almond oil, vegetable glycerin. They're nice and moisturizing. They're not greasy. They're big on making their body care products with clean ingredients. They're cruelty free, non-GMO, vegan, no parabens, and a lot more. As of right now, their lotions are $3.99 and they're always having their lotions on sale. I believe they're regular $14.99. And I also believe that their semi-annual sale is right now. I've been using their body lotions for over a year and I love them. Okay, so let's go over the ones that I got. First up, we have Carnival Apple. The notes are green apple, spun sugar, light cinnamon, and vanilla. When I first smell it, I definitely get the green apple, the freshness of it. It kind of reminded me of Beautiful Day from Bath & Body Works, the apple scent in that one. You also get that cinnamon lightly in the background and you get like a sweet vanilla. It definitely smells like a caramel apple. I think this one go with a lot of variety apple scents and some Gourmand scents. Love it. And next up, we have Vanilla Bean. The notes are Vanilla Bean, Buttercream Icing, and Marshmallows. Definitely one of my top favorites. I always say this is what you want, Vanilla Bean Noel from Bath & Body Works to smell like. I wish they had a body mist in this one so bad. It just smells so delicious, so good. It's definitely giving vanilla ice cream. Next up, we got Pineapple Cake Pop. And I believe they have a whole cake pop candle collection. I'm going to have to get some of those. The notes in this one are pineapple sugar, vanilla cake pop, and vanilla bean. I definitely get that cakey pineapple scent with the vanilla icing. Smells so delicious. Like, oh my goodness. This needs to be a body mist also. And next up, we have cotton candy. Notes are cotton candy, sweet spun sugar, blue raspberry, and strawberry. When I first smelled this one, it reminded me of... Boardwalk Taffy, Cotton Candy Clouds, and Wiltberry Moraine. It smells like those, but more on the lighter side. So you can definitely pair this one with those scents and a lot more. And next up, we have Marshmallow Sugar. Notes are Fluffy Marshmallows, Batter, Warm Vanilla Bean, and Cream. It definitely reminds me when I'm melting down marshmallows to make like a fluff. And I have mentioned this one in several videos. Like I said before, it pairs so well with Beach Nights from Bath & Body Works. It brings out the extra marshmallow scent. But you can pair this one with so many different scents. Next up, we have Grape Soda. This is such a fun one. The notes are Concord Grape, Pomegranate Punch, and Fizzy Soda and Sugar. Of course, you get that grape and the fizziness from it. I still have not had a chance to pick up the candle in this one. I remember when it first came out years ago. The Grape Soda candles stay sold out. I'm going to have to go on there and check and see if it's even in stock. They usually have the one wick and a jar candle in this one. I also have a hand soap and grape soda. Smells so good. The last two, we have some seasonal fragrances. We have Candy Cane Kiss. And that's one thing I do like. They seem to keep their seasonal fragrances around. And their body care, I don't know if it's an overstock of everything, but I love that you can still grab them in the spring and summer. The notes are peppermint, cool spearmint, white chocolate, cotton candy, and vanilla. I do have a shower gel in this one. And every time I use that one, it leaves some type of cooling sensation and I love it. Especially summer's coming up, it seems like it'd be nice and refreshing to use. 
like it's some type of menthol or something in it. Next up is another favorite. I have plenty of backups of this one. Notes are sugar cookie, swirl icing, bakery notes, vanilla, and marshmallow. This is a true cookie dough scent. It even says it in the description. It says a delicious half-baked sugar cookie. So half-baked means it's not gonna be cooked all the way through and it's gonna still be some doughiness. And that's what I get from this lotion. It's also giving me a bit of cinnamon roll dough. I love this one so much. This scent lingers and I absolutely love the shower gel in this one also. And next up from Sephora, I got some Sol de Janeiro products. I have the Beige Flora Elastic Cream. It says it's for a normal dry combination and oily skin. A lot of people really love this one when it came out. Everyone kept asking for a body mist. I don't know if they already had it in the works or they were listening to everyone. They came out with a matching hair and body mist. So this is the Brazilian Crush Cheriosa 68. This is considered a fruity floral. Key notes are Brazilian Jasmine, Pink Dragon Fruit, and Sheer Vanilla. You can definitely wear this in the summertime. To me, it's giving spring vibes. It's just soft and pretty. On the first initial spray, I get that Jasmine and Dragon Fruit. On the dry down, it gives like a really soft vanilla. This is actually my scent of the day paired with Ariana Grande's Cloud Body Mist. It goes so good with that. It actually reminds me of that. Those two together just smell so good. Next up is the Soul Cheriosa 62 in the Parfume. I've been wanting to get this one for a while. I was going to get the full size, but I went ahead and got the small one so I can kind of test it out. It smells just as strong as the Hair and Body Mist in 62. So I think if you have that one, you will be good. But being the lover that I am of this scent, I still might purchase a full-size bottle. Next up, we have some Body Ecology. I have the Coconut Hibiscus Body Mist. I plan on next week to come in and do a whole video on Body Ecology like I did Body Fantasies. My Body Ecology Body Mist collection has grew. Next up, we have some Body Ecology Body Washes. I have never tried them, but I heard a lot of good things about them. These were the only ones they had available. I got Cucumber Melon, Watermelon Splash. Cozy Fireside some more and Pink Vanilla Wish. I do have all the mist to these. I did open and smell them. They smell amazing. So I cannot wait to see how these leather up. I love the whipped vanilla body mist so much. I was looking for the body wash, but I cannot find it anywhere. Last up for my haul, I got some Dove Bar Soap, which is my number one absolute favorite. Can I get started with my routine if I don't have that? And I got some more loofahs. I'm always buying loofahs because they say you're supposed to switch them out every 30 days. I always try to buy them just to keep them in stock. Okay guys, that's going to conclude my collective haul. I think I'm going to do an in-depth review on the Brazilian Crush 68 and add my layering combinations to it. I'm surprised I have not reviewed any of the other ones. I might just do like a whole video on them, but we shall see. But if you haven't now already, subscribe and join the KSL game. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Hey KSL game, if you love cooking and watching cooking videos and super easy recipes, make sure you check out my main channel in Kiki's Kitchen. I'll see you over there.